And it's clear that this grand jury thought about the possibility of criminal charges, but they instead decided to err on the side of what the current state of the law is and not bring any criminal charges against administrators in the district. This grand jury report blasts a lack of action by Plum High School administrators and Plum School Resource Police Officer in the wake of the cases of Plum teachers Joseph Ruggieri, who along with teacher Jason Cooper pleaded guilty to institutional sex assault. The grand jury cites systematic failures to protect students, leaving students vulnerable to abuse by the very persons duty bound to protect them. Some Plum residents wondered if administrators would face charges. They withheld uh, information which uh, should have been disclosed a lot sooner, and maybe a lot of this wouldn't happen. Something should have been done before now. I mean, this is the what, third, fourth incident. But the grand jury says it is not bringing criminal charges against individuals it says were clearly derelict in their duties to protect children from sexual abuse. The grand jury blames the current state law and the lack of documentation kept by Plum School administrators and the Plum Police School Resource Officer. When we spoke with Plum Superintendent Dr. Timothy Glasspool one year ago, he expressed shock at the then growing allegations. That is news to me. I, I hope you understand it. I'm surprised. Glasspool emailed today, quote, there is no advantage attempting to correct the inaccuracies and conclusions referenced in the presentment as the goal is to move forward. The Plum School District has cooperated with the investigation and continues to do so as we move forward. Now we've been re reaching out to members of the Plum School Board so far, none of them speaking publicly in response to the remarks in the grand jury report. Reporting live in the Plum School District, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.